What is up, YouTube? I hope everyone is doing absolutely amazing today. I am Ryan Wilson, and this is my channel. If this is you guys' first time here, I'm going to do something a little bit different than I normally do. So, something you guys might not know about me, a couple things you guys might not know about me. For a living, my 9 to 5, right now, I am a automotive painter. So, I, I paint cars all day long. And this, this idea kind of got brought up to me by my jobber, the guy, the paint supplier, the guy that comes in. He came in, we were talking, and I was telling him I was how I was colorblind, and he couldn't believe that a painter, someone that paints cars all day, adjusts colors, could be colorblind. And he just didn't understand it. And so I, I've been colorblind my entire life, as, at least as long as I can remember, I've been colorblind. And honestly, it's never really affected me too much. I never really thought much of it. The only place I've really noticed it um, is like video games. I notice like on on like any any like shooting games, really anything like um, like Call of Duty or Fortnite, Apex, stuff like that. Just where like people can camouflage in or hide or like stuff that's way off in the distance. If there's like a red and green or a blue and purple right next to each other, I have a lot of trouble um, just identifying it. Like I know in like Fortnite, people can like look around, like see like the llamas like way down on the ground. I cannot see that. I don't know. It's something with the color. I know they got the I know they got the color like adjustment, like the colorblind settings. It helps a little bit, but it doesn't help all the way. So what I thought was cool, me and my job we got talking about it, and I don't know if you guys ever heard of colorblind glasses. He basically convinced me that I need to buy these and try them out. And, I, and so I got online. I know Enchroma makes it, but I went with a company called Powerstone and check these things out. Check it out. Powerstone glasses. I don't know why they got to put the label right there on the front of it, but I, I figured I found this. I found a pair on eBay actually. They were new, used. I don't know if they were just like a return. That they were brand new, but they were like I got them for a used price. I think I paid 100 or 125 dollars. So. I thought it was worth worth to try and see what it would do. I've taken one of these tests before. If you guys have never seen it before, this one's on IQ.com. I know Enchroma has it. <clears throat> There's a bunch of different sites. Uh, this one, I don't know why I've, I've taken this test before, and I, this is just the one I like. And it's like, if you just go to Google and just search it, it's like one of the first that come up. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to just try to take a test without the pile stones and then with the pile stones and see what happens. And just see if they actually help me that much. Now I will say that um, I know I've tried taking the test. I've taken the test multiple times because my parents didn't ever believe me. My girlfriend never believed me. Like you know, the my job or the paint supplier, he didn't believe me. So they everybody always wants me to like prove it. Like they want to see. Like some people think I actually see in like black and white, which is absolutely insane to me. But. I've taken this test before. I always basically get the same results. I'm not going to tell you what color color blindness I am just yet. Honestly, I can't even pronounce the name, uh, but I, I know what colors I have the hardest time with. And there's like there's a word for it, and there's some reasoning behind it. And it'll it'll show us that at the end of the test. So we're going to try it with and without, and we're going to see what happens. So and if you guys didn't know, uh, like it's not like it's not like if you're colorblind, it's not like you're actually missing something it's not like you're lacking something in your eyes it's like a what are called cones but it's like a cell in your eye that is just different than everybody else's so it's not it's not lacking anything you're not lacking cells you're not lacking a cone you're not it's just a different cell so in my eyes I just think I think we're special I think we're like a special breed I don't know maybe everybody else is colorblind maybe we're the normal ones so let's do this let's start the test without it all right, so this is the first one, and I cannot see a damn thing. Absolutely not, sir. Not sure. So I'm gonna do unsure. This one maybe a six. So I'm gonna guess six, but it's very, very hard for me to see. So we'll guess six. That one's an easy seven. This one I have absolutely no clue. Maybe something like an. This looks like an S or maybe an eight. You guys think that's an eight? See, I will say this. If I really focus, really focus, sometimes. I can I can like almost train my eyes I feel like to see it but a lot of times I think I'll call it out and then it's they're like no you're way off so this one I can see is a two six barely it's hard to see that 
This one, no clue at all. Absolutely no idea what this one is. I, I don't even know. I see like some discolored dots. You know, that's what I look for is just like the discolored dots. That's the only way I can actually see it. Like if they were, if this was like a randomized, like it could be anything. They're like, just tell me what's in this image. If it was like, like Fortnite has like the llama that sits inside it. Uh, like if they did random stuff, I wouldn't know. I would have no clue. This one, I have no clue either. So unsure. That one's unsure as well. Very unsure on that one. Unsure. Holy crap. This is, I'm doing worse than I thought. Doing way worse than I thought. This looks like an S, but I'm gonna guess it's a five. And that one that I said that I was unsure that was like it looks like an S, and I hit unsure. I bet it was a five too. I didn't even think about it. So this is a zero, six, two, zero, eight, one, four, three. That looks like a four to me. I'd say that's a two, um, seven. Ah, uh, that's a nine, but that one's getting a little tricky. It, but it's like the yellow is like distinguishable. All right, so once we put my name and email address, uh, freaking thing, showing everybody my email address, I have to cover that up, I guess. Ooh, okay. So, look at this. Results, various color deficiencies. You did not correctly identify the hidden images in more than one test condition. You may have difficulty dis distinguishing many colors and is most likely impacts your daily life. Be sure to consult with your eye doctor to explore options to improve your color vision. So, uh, what's on? This is what I always, this is usually what I get. This is usually what I get. D, D U Turnopia. I don't need, I don't know how to say these. Why do they gotta, why do they gotta make them so long for one? Like, but this one right here, I thought this was like the red, red, green, yellow and green appear red while blue looks violet. That's true. Like blues look violet to me sometimes. Like if it's a dark blue, if it's a dark blue, it looks violet. Um, honestly, red, green, I don't have any problems with yellows like at all. I don't think maybe a, a yellow might look close to orange. I don't know. This, I'm not, this is a first for me, really. The pro... Tanopia, Protanopia, which is, it says it's low, so like, I don't know, maybe I'm just off today, but uh, this is a Saturday for me, so I did, I did uh, stay up a little late last night, did sleep in this morning, so maybe my eyes just like, like during the week I'm on it, so maybe, maybe that's what it is, maybe I'm just a little off my game today. This is uh, orange, red, and yellow look greener, and colors are dull. Now I will say, um, I don't think the colors look dull to me. I don't think colors look dull to me, but uh, when I use a color, like when I use color uh, settings on on games and whatever, everything does look a little more vibrant to me. It, but I don't know. This one's crazy. Blue blue looks green and yellow can appear gray, pink, and violet. Whoever has that, man, I feel sorry if, if things actually look gray because I did not think that was possible. I'm definitely in this realm. I think um, I think this, whatever you want to say, I think it's, this is actually technically red green uh, colorblind. I think that is the most common from from my uh, just like looking up back in the day. I think that's like the most common one. So now what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna open this box up. I've already I've already uh, untaped it. Check the glasses out. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna put the glasses on, and we're gonna actually see if it helps. This is my first time taking the test, so I, I did take them out of the package. I just wanted to try them when I got them in. I mean, what? who wouldn't want to do that? So, this is what they look like. They're like reflective sunglasses almost. They kind of got like a red. Let me open them up. They're like a red or pinkish color. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. And then the front's kind of reflective, so you can see my screen and my, my ring light up there. So, let's put them on. And let's do this again. We take test. All right, blah, 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 test instructions. Let's start this bad unit. All right, so let's try, let's see what they look like with and without. So this one, even without the glasses, I can see it's an eight, but whenever I put the glasses on, it is more vibrant. Like it is easier to see. That one's a three, and I can see it without the glasses again, but it's still hard to see. So I wonder if, it doesn't, it, obviously this doesn't know, so <clears throat> this one's a six, I can tell. I'm telling you guys right now though, this is crazy. Because, like I can see it, I can see it's a six without the glasses on, but when you put these glasses on, it is like a perfect six. Like it is 
no doubt in my mind. Like here, I'm like, oh yeah, there is something a little different. But like the dots to me look like a light blue, almost a little greenish tealy color. But you put these on and they are blue. There's no doubt that there is blue and then the rest are like a pinkish color on the outside. Like honestly, those look green to me and then now they look pink. So I'm sure it has something to do with the color of the lens, but whatever. This one is an eight, so I'm gonna bang through some of these. Let me see, let me just answer them without the glasses until I get to one that I can't see and if I can, and then we'll hit it. So nine, see this one, no clue. So let's see if these glasses help. Oh wow, okay, this one, still difficult to me. I, I don't think I know what this is, even without it. I, I would say to me that it kind of looks like a three. It's a little more distinguishable. Like these dots look a little darker and a little like they're just like more vibrant, more bold to me. They stand out. So I'm going to go three, but I, I'm not confident. I'm not confident with that answer. So uh, let's go back off. All right. So this can't see either, but I had the glasses on and I could see right away it was a seven. That's amazing. That is amazing. So zero. Five, nine, three, four. Ooh, can't see nothing again. Oh yeah, the glasses. If you guys are colorblind and you guys haven't tried these glasses, you need a pair. They're a hundred bucks and they will change your life. I guarantee it. If you're, especially if you're a big gamer, if you're a gamer or even a painter, because like whenever I'm painting stuff. And I'm trying to look at the variance. If you guys don't know what a variance is, it's like, it could be, you can have a color blue, whatever, whatever the blue, like let's say it's called indigo blue. That's the paint job color. And, and you're looking at it and, and like a door doesn't match a fender and you're like, or like a spray out car. You make a little, you spray the color out that you mixed up and they're a little off and you got to try to figure out like what's off on it. And the variance is like a little more redder or greener or yellow. You got to find out what the variant is. It's the same color, but it might have a little bit more yellow in it. So I hope, I hope you guys kind of understand with that. So like with me, I think that's going to help a bunch. Like if I pull it out in the sun, I think, you know, it would just help me like distinguish the colors that are in it a little better. But even on video games, I guarantee you put these on, you play some video games, the ones that you're having trouble with, these are going to help out a bunch. Uh, see this one though, can't see it. I think I see like some pink dots coming in through here like this, but this one's a struggle even with the glasses, but I think it's a five. It's a one, but it's a still a struggle. That's a five, two, four. Let's see this. Nine, eight, two, six. This one, difficult to get you guys. Um... I think it's a seven though. I think it is a seven now that I look at it a little more. I can see that. And the honestly, the glasses don't help much on this one. But I, I am I am pretty confident it's a seven. But I would not bet my life on it. Alright, see? Check it out. Normal color vision. So before we had two two of these categories off. Alright, come on. Get out of my way. So I don't know, let me scroll down. I'm gonna get the internet. So, yes, successfully selected the correct hidden figures in, in all or nearly all test conditions. Your perception of color is excellent. So, that right there shows you that these glasses really do work. If it's worth 100 bucks to you guys, I don't know. I can't, wherever you're at in your life. And some people, you know, like you might, it doesn't, might not matter to you at all. Might not need it. But <clears throat> if you're interested in it and you're here watching this video and you made it this far, I'd say buy them. Definitely buy them. I found them new, new used for like a hundred bucks. I almost guarantee you guys could. Pile, these are pile stone glasses. They actually, they look pretty decent. Like you guys could, you know, if you just wanted to wear them. It's, they look like sunglasses to me. And uh, so I, I'd say you can wear them gaming. That's something that you want to Google and just see like if it could hurt your eyes if you wear them for too long. You definitely don't want to destroy your eyes, but um, they definitely help. So I'd recommend. I'd recommend for sure. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else like this, I'm always down to try out some new stuff. I, I do a lot of gaming on the channel, but I do I got I do um, invest in like rental properties, and I do some uh, some car flips and stuff like that. And I'm I'm definitely wanting to grow the channel in all directions. <clears throat> I want to keep gaming 
do my gaming stuff. I really enjoy that. That's just fun to me. Like, that's just something I really enjoy. So that's, I'm going to keep on doing that. If you guys got any new game suggestions, I'm down. I'll, I'll buy whatever. Give it a try. Um, any suggestions at all, any support on the group would be amazing. Give it a like. Give it a freaking, give me a subscribe. Comment down below, whatever you guys want to see. And uh, I think that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you. Peace out.